everybody, I'm Noob Noob Fruit, and in this video I'm going to show you how to unlock Superman in Fortnite. So Superman is the last unlockable secret skin in Fortnite for Chapter 2 Season 7, and he's an absolute beast of a skin. So as you can see, it's got all of these cosmetics. You've got Clark Kent, you got the inbuilt emote, the secret identity, you got the daily planet, uh, like uh, back bling. The secret identity turns you into Superman, just so you know. So as you can see, you use it, and ta-da, you're Superman. And then you got the spray, you got the emoticon, and then you have the Shadow Superman or Shadow Clark Kent, so you get both of these varieties. And then you have the Solitude Striker pickaxe, you have the Kalal Cape glider, and then you have the Banner Icon, Superman Banner Icon, and then the loading screen, of course. So if you want to unlock this beautiful skin, all you have to do is just complete uh, 84 epic quests. And epic quests are the like purple color quests that we get every week, so we get 7 every week. And uh, by the time that Superman is live, which is exactly in 16 days, you should be able to unlock him once you have completed all of these epic quests. So in this video, I'm gonna like uh, organize all the epic quests from week one all the way to the like uh, to, to week eight and week nine and ten, so on and so forth. They will be timestamped. They will be organized. You can like choose the week, and then you can choose the quest that you need to do. And once you complete all of them, you'll be able to unlock this absolute beast of a skin i absolutely love superman and uh, yeah you'll be able to become superman in fortnite and you'll be able to play fortnite as superman which is absolutely awesome and uh, yeah if you guys like this kind of content make sure to like comment and subscribe because it really helps the channel a lot and uh, we're trying to hit 5,000 subscribers so with your help we're gonna get there i'm pretty sure of that <laughs> so yeah without further ado let's jump into it let's go for this uh, week one epic quest for season seven it says that you have to accept a quest from a payphone so we're gonna go to the payphone at uh Let's see, at right here, so at this spot. So right next to Steamy Stacks. Ooh, there are alien ships here. That's nice. All right, so where's the payphone? All right, so I found the payphone. It's right here. It's actually uh, very well hidden. So let's interact with it. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna ping where the payphone is exactly. So it's right over my body, right here. So let's interact with that payphone and that should complete the quest. It's a week one epic quest for uh, season seven. It says that you have to upgrade weapons at uh, upgrade benches. So there's an upgrade bench at Catty Corner and uh, they are not like really, uh, there are not really too many of them around the map. So as you can see, only a few. So we're gonna go to this one right here at Catty Corner. And you simply have to grab a weapon and go to the upgrade bench, which is this right here, right under me. All right, so let's grab a weapon and see what we need to upgrade. Grab this assault rifle. Let's drink these minis just in case. Because people like to land here. Alright. So, this is the upgrade bench right here. As you can see, let's have the weapon on. And as you can see, you need gold to upgrade it. So, we need 200 gold to upgrade the first weapon from common to uncommon, which is a lot of gold. Uh, so, yeah, you just need to do this uh, three times with three weapons, or maybe like three times on the same weapon. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week uh, one epic quest for uh, season seven, it says that you have to search chest at Steamy Stacks or Gra Craggy Cliffs. So either make your way to Steamy Stacks right here, so this entire POI, or Craggy Cliffs right here, this entire POI, and simply start looking for these chests and open them. So as you can see, that's three out of seven. And all you have to do is just find seven of those all around the map until you complete the quest. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. That should complete the challenge. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So, for week one's uh, epic quest for season seven, it's very simple. It says that you have to uh, collect uh, different weapon types. So, all you need to do is just collect five different weapon types. And weapon types are these uh, like types right here. So, as you can see, this one says uncommon. This one is uncommon. Uh, I already collected, like, this one is the rare, rare variety. And now I just found a legendary uh, variety. So, as soon as I pick this up, as you can see, it is completed. And I just got 30,000 XP points. So yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, epic quest, it says that you have to deal 500 damage uh, with uh, pulsar rifles, or pulse rifles, so as you can see. So to do that, all you have to do is just make your way to a spot where you can find these IO guards. So for example, you can come right here to uh, Steamy Stacks, right over here. And you will find these IO guards right underneath you. So we're going to kill some. And we're going to confiscate their weapon and use it for ourselves. Okay. Uh, let's kill this guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've been abducted. Damn it. Leave me alone. Get me back. <laughs> Put me back. Okay, we're back. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Uh, 
There it is. That's the Pulsar Rifle. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There it is. Okay, so now we deal damage with this. Damn, this weapon is still. Oh, so if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, like scope in, it actually rapid fires, which is very useful. All right, so yeah, as you can see at the top left, the damage is stacking. Just take this weapon and keep dealing damage until you hit 500. And that should complete the quest. In this uh, week one epic quest, it says that you have to buy a shield potion from a mending machine. So, so these are all the mending machine locations, as you can see. So you can just screenshot this and you will forever know where all the mending machines are until you get used to them. So we're gonna go to the one at the uh, catty corner right here. So let's go and buy ourselves a, uh, a shield potion. So the mending machine, there it is. So it costs gold to buy this stuff. So just make sure you have the gold for it. You need 120 gold to buy a sheet potion. So let's do that. And yeah, there it is, just like that. Uh, quest completed. So for this uh, week one epic quest for season seven, it says you have to get an elimination with a railgun. So there it is, just one elimination using a railgun. And this is a railgun right here. So this is what it looks like. It drops in uh, different rarities, so you can find it in uh, uh, epic, uh, rare, legendary, all kind of rarities and you can actually find it in any chest so you have to kind of look a little bit until you find it and when you find it just find somebody uh, like a bot or somebody to kill I highly recommend doing this in uh, Team Rumble mode uh, reason being is uh, because in Team Rumble mode you get to respawn so just, just find this weapon and you can just re respawn infinite times until you kill somebody which should be easy enough also team assist is uh, turned on in uh, Team Rumble mode and uh, once you kill somebody, like uh, any, if you, any of your uh, like uh, uh, teammates kill somebody with a real gun, it will also count for you. So that's uh, uh, very useful as well. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. Just find someone and kill them with this gun. Also, you have to remember that this gun goes through some things and some things he doesn't go through. So as you can see, if it's a tree, then it cannot go through it. But if it's a wooden structure, it will go through it and kill the enemy. As you can see, so yeah, it's a very powerful gun. It's more like a cannon than a gun. So you have to be kind of careful and you have to aim really, really well. So yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. So for week two's epic quest, uh, it says that you have to visit five different named locations in a single match. So the first location is going to be Dirty Dogs right here. Just come here, take this spaceship. This place will always, always, always have a spaceship for you. So I'm going to ping it in a second. Uh, let me go to maps. So just go to this spot right here and you will find a, a UFO. And then from there, we go to retail row. So let's go. So this is the most optimal way to do this challenge in a single match. Also, you can go to Team Rumble mode and you can simply ask your friends to go to one location each and then you can simply go to one more location and then you will have five locations. So this is location number two. So we simply have to pass, pass over it. There it is. Then we go to Lazy Lake. So let me ping it. Lazy Lake. You can do this really, really fast with the UFOs because you can boost and they have enough fuel for you to go around all five locations without stopping. This is Lazy Lake right here. And then we make a turn and go to Catty Corner. As you can see, it's very, very close. Oh, somebody tried to snipe me. <laughs> I stopped moving for one second and somebody tried to snipe me. Snipe me. Damn. These tryhards. Alright, here we are at Catty Corner. That's number four. And then you simply make your way to Lazy Lake all the way over there. And here we are. Not Lazy Lake, uh, Misty Meadows. <laughs> So this should be the, the last location. Come on, come on, come on. And here we are. There it is. Just as easy as that. It only took us, what, like uh, two minutes? So this is the best way to do it. Just make sure you start our dirty dogs right here. Take the spaceship, the UFO, 
and just make your way through all these uh, uh, POIs. Of course, you can go uh, elsewhere, but uh, these POIs are the closest five POIs to each other. And yeah, that's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. This uh, week two epic quest, it says that you have to search chests at Kearney Complex or Lazy Lake. So either make your way to Lazy Lake right here, or make your way to Corny Complex and simply search for uh, seven chests. Of course, this is uh, uh, like doable, um, way easier in Team Rumble mode. So here we are at Lazy Lake and we're gonna search for a couple of chests just to show you how. I think I see a chest over there. Ah, uh, it's already looted. Oh, a lot of people already looted this spot, sadly. I think everyone is doing the challenge. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky to find yourself uh, like seven chests. For this uh, week two epic quest, it says that you have to enter a UFO. So the easiest uh, way to enter a UFO is to go to one of the UFO spots where you can find a free uh, saucer. So this is one of the spots at Dirty Docks right here. So as you can see, there's an empty UFO right under me. There's actually five locations on the map where you can find a free UFO for you to use. So I already made a video on this, so if you want to uh, like check it out, just uh, write all UFO locations to Blue Fruit and you will find it. So as you can see, just like that, we completed the quest. It's pretty easy. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week two epic quest, it says that you have to deal explosive damage to opponents or opponent structures. So all you have to do is deal 500 explosive damage. So I highly recommend you do this in Team Rumble mode. Just grab a, a lot of these grenades right here that I have in my hand. And you simply find yourself some opponents. Or you can simply uh, aim at their structures. So let's find ourselves an opponent. Oh, over there. There he is. He's waiting for the supply drop. And he even built for us. That's absolutely perfect. So we're gonna bomb the shit out of him. In one, two, three. Let's just throw everything at him. And that should count. <laughs> Sorry, I suck, but at least there it is, as you can see. Uh, uh, just by doing that, we got 500 damage and we completed the quest in one go. So all I needed was uh, 12 grenades in Team Rumble and just somebody turbo building on himself. And yeah, that, as you can see, it's pretty easy to complete. I just completed it in two minutes. So you can do the same. For this uh, week two epic quest, it says that you have to collect spray cans, two spray cans from warehouses in Dirty Dogs or garages in uh, Pleasant Park. So you can just go to Dirty Docks right here, to this uh, warehouse, right over here. And there should be two spray cans right inside of it. I'm sorry, my cat is meowing. I think he wants to get out. <laughs> one, one second, one second, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, so this is where the spray cans are gonna be. Spray can number one. And then spray can number two, right over here. And that's it, that's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week two epic quest, it says that you have to destroy equipment at satellite stations. So just make your way to any satellite station, just like this one right here at Stronghold, a uh, stealthy stronghold. So this is a satellite uh, station, as you can see. If you want to know all the satellite locations, just write uh, all satellite locations double fruit, and you will find them. And you simply destroy all the objects that you see. So as you can see, it's going to start counting as you destroy the objects, and you only need to destroy 15 of these. And you need to be careful of other players because they do they do tend to uh, attack. All right, let's get inside. Ah, there it is. So yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. For this uh, week two epic quest, it says you have to search for a graffiti covered wall at Hydro 16 or near Caddy Corner. So we'll go to the one uh, near Caddy Corner. So this is Caddy Corner right here, and you simply go to this spot right here. And you'll find a wall covered with graffiti that you can interact with. So it should be right underneath us. Yep, I can already see it. There it is. So let's make our way over there. Also, you can find the Special Forces NPC over here if you want to come talk to him. 
So here's the wall right here. And there we go. Let's take a thumbnail. And oh. So yeah, that's it. Just examine it. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week three epic quest, it says that you have to dance near a lit campfire. So make your way to any campfire in the map. So this campfire, for example, is going to be right over here. Right at this little island next to Lazy Lake, if you want to come straight towards here. And then you simply light up the campfire. And then you emote. So dance. <laughs> and that's, yeah, that's it. That, uh, that's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week three epic quest, it says that you have to catch fish at fishing spots. So I highly recommend coming to this spot right here next to Lazy Lake. There's a bunch of fishing barrels and fishing spots. Also, you can go to Lake Canoe right here. And you can go to uh, Believer Beach right over here. So we'll do this at this spot because it has a lot of fishing spots. So we simply grab a uh, fishing rod and we go to where the fishing spots are. Here we go. And, hop. and then you simply fish from the fishing spots. Make sure the fish that you catch are from the fishing spots. All right, let's grab us some fish. That's one. That's two. I believe you need five to complete the quest. Come on, come on, come on. All right. That's more weapons. <laughs> we need three more fish. There, yeah, nice. That's three fish, two more. One more. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. So, for this week's three epic quest, it says that you have to destroy three boats. So, to do that, I highly recommend coming to Craggy Cliffs and going to this little shop right here. Because there, you will find a bunch of boats. All kinds of boats, like wooden boats and uh, like uh, those uh, contemporary boats or modern boats. So, you can try it on each type. So, there are these boats that are hung up on the wall that you can destroy. This should count. So, that's one, two... And let's find us a third one. There should be another one outside. Yep, there it is. And that's three. And in case uh, those do not count, just go right here. And you will find these boats right here. Uh, of course, to destroy them, we're going to need a weapon. You can pickaxe them, of course, but uh, a weapon is much easier. And you simply shoot at them until they are destroyed. One more. And yep, there it is. So yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. I highly recommend coming to Dirty Docks right here, or Craig Lefts, not Dirty Docks. Because as you can see, it's full of boats and you can easily destroy any kind of boats. You can even destroy these wooden boats right here until you complete the quest. For this uh, week three epic quest, it says that you have to glide 20 meters uh, while holding a chicken. So just want to find one of these chickens right here and grab them. Come here. Come here, let me grab you. There it is. And then, uh, once you jump with the chicken, it will count as gliding using the chicken. So let's get into a high ground, like this one right here. And simply jump around. Oh, that's beautiful. And yeah, that's it. Just keep doing this until you hit 20 meters in air, gliding while holding a chicken. And that should complete the challenge. For this uh, week 3 epic quest, it says that you have to uh, end up or finish uh, a top 10. So it's, uh, that's pretty easy to do in Fortnite currently because there's a bunch of these bushes that you can hide in. Just jump into a, a solo mode or any, any mode really. And uh, you can just uh, wait it out until you reach top 10. So now it is top 12 as you can see. So I'm just waiting for it to become top 10. And then I'm just uh, gonna like uh, uh, full hog it and just go fight someone <laughs> and die of course. And that should count as uh, completing the quest. <clears throat> Also, there's another way to do it. Uh, you can also go to Dirty Docks right here. So as soon as the game starts, go to this location right here and get one of those uh, free uh, spaceship or saucers and just go uh, to max height and just stay in the sky until uh, the game reaches uh, top 10. And when it reaches top 10, you can simply jump off, uh, off, the, uh, off the saucer and uh, just die from fall damage. And that should complete the, the quest, of course. So yeah, uh, right now we're waiting for top 10. That's 12. We need two more to die. Nice, there it is, that's top 10. That's it, that's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. For this uh, week three epic quest, it says that you have to travel between porta porties. So this is a porta porty right here. This is one of the few ones that are left that are working. So it will be right inside this house at Corny Complex. So simply exit right here and you will find it. So this is the house I'm gonna show you. So this is the house, the one with the surveillance camera. And you simply go inside and go inside this one. And it will take you somewhere else. Ooh, nice. It actually takes you inside. 
Very cool. So yeah, that's one of the few working photo parties right here in the game in Corny Complex. Make sure to come here and use it, and that should complete the quest. This uh, week three epic quest is that you have to use nuts and bolts. So to use nuts and bolts, you need to go to an NPC that sells those, or you can just find them all around the map. Uh, they're pretty rare to find, so we're just gonna go to Rick Sanchez, the NPC, and just buy some from him. And the idea is for you to use those nuts and bolts in order to craft, uh, to side, side grade some weapons into other weapons. So we're gonna do just that. So let's go right here. Rick Sanchez should be right underneath us. Yep, there he is. Let's grab the weapon on the top. And then we go speak to him. Hey there, buddy. And as you can see, you can buy the nuts and bolts from him. So let's buy some. And then simply we go to craft. And we go crafting. And as you can see, we can change our pump shotgun using the nuts and bolts into a lever action shotgun. So there it is. And oh, that's it. That's all you have to do. Just keep doing that until you complete the quest. For this uh, week for epic quest, it says that you have to travel 1000 meters in a saucer. So if you want a 100% chance of a saucer uh, spawn, just go to Dirty Docks and go to this uh, spot right here and you will find a free UFO that you can drive. So there's the UFO right there. It is usually uh, guarded by AI, so you might have to find a couple of AI or you can just jump into it and fly away just like this. And yeah, you simply have to uh, like fly this UFO for 1000 meters and that should complete the quest. That's very easy. This uh, week for epic quest is that you have to destroy hiding places. So hiding places are these places that you can hide in. So you just click E and you can actually hide inside them. So this works on uh, like trash, uh, trash uh, containers. So you can destroy that. Also, I recommend coming to Dirty Docks because there are three hiding places right here uh, that you can destroy. So that's one. Uh, number two should be around here. Let me get some, some mats just to show you guys. All right, there it is, right there. So that's the second hiding place that you can destroy. Another trash uh, trash can, and oh. And then one more, which is this uh, porta potty right here. So simply destroy that. And yeah, there it is, just like that. In one POI, there are three hiding places that you can destroy, and that should complete the quest. Also, this works on uh, hay bells, so you can just go to Corny Complex, for example, or you can go to Steel Farm right here, and you will find like a couple of hay bells that you can destroy. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week for Epic Quest, it, sa it says that you have to abduct an opponent with a saucer uh, tractor beam. So first you need a saucer, which is this saucer right here. If you want a 100% spawn rate for saucers, go to Dirty Dogs to this location right here. And you will find a free UFO that you can uh, that you can drive or fly. And then I'm just going to show you how to, how to like abduct somebody. So we're just going to use a bot grenade. So we're going to create a bot and then fly here. Then we simply... Come on. There it is. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And by simply attacking them, you will complete the challenge. And then we throw them away. <laughs> and there it is. That's it. Pretty easy. For this uh, week for epic quest, it says that you have to deal damage near an abductor. And abductors are these like giant ships that float around the map. And you can actually find them uh, on the map when uh, the game starts, so they uh, spawn randomly. So just look at the map, look where the abductor is. So for example, there's this one on Believer Beach. And you simply go all the way to the abductor. And you will find chests on top. You will also find weapons. And you will also find enemies. <laughs> so let's grab a, uh, a weapon. Oh, we got some bottle grenades. Okay, so we can test it uh, here. So, oh. Okay, I did not mean to do that. And hop. Oh. And yeah, there it is. That's all you have to do. Just keep fighting all around the abductor until you reach the damage needed to complete the quest. For this uh, week for epic quest, it says that you have to destroy objects at Lazy Lake, Pleasant Park, Holly Hatchery, or uh, I forgot what the, <laughs> the first one is. But basically, you go to one of these POIs. So we'll go to Pleasant Park, for example. And you simply destroy objects until you complete the quest. So let's go inside this house right here. Now everything in this POI should be counted as an object. So you're gonna have to test it out. Just destroy random stuff. Uh, uh, just like you, you are farming at the start of the game. 
And yeah, that's it. Uh, just keep destroying objects until you complete the quest. For this uh, week for epic quest, it says that you have to hunt a an infected animal. And this is an infected animal right here. It's simply one of the wildlife with the parasite on top of it. So as you can see, there's a parasite on its head. And that makes it infected. And all you have to do is just, <laughs> just shoot it out. And yeah, there it is. That's it. Pretty easy. Uh, also, if you're wondering where to find these, uh, they are pretty rare to find. But uh, basically, the, you will find a lot of them right around here, right at the left side of Misty Meadows. You will find a bunch of them at Reaping Woods. And you will find a bunch of them around Lazy Lake. So you're going to have to do a little bit of exploring, but you will eventually meet one of these. Uh, especially that parasites are abundant right now and they are literally everywhere. And yeah, just shoot one of those infected animals and that should complete the quest. So for this uh, week for Epic Quest, it says that you have to uh, experience low gravity using alien nanites or on the mothership. So alien nanites are going to be like these new items that are going to give you like low gravity. Uh, so since those are not in the game yet, we're going to use the mothership. And I'm going to show you how to go into the mothership. Just go to any of these abductors. So as you can see, they are located on the map. There's this one here and here and here. So just go to, go to these abductors, grab a weapon, and wait for the shiny light to abduct you. So we're going to do that right now. All right, there's the shiny light right there. So simply go inside of it and follow one of those rays. So we'll go right here. And we're going to kill this guy. Right before he is abducted. And we're going to take his place. There it is. Nice. Okay. Woo! Okay, so here we are. We're getting abducted. So now we're going to be sent into the mothership. Nice. There it is. Begin experiment 9494. That's our number. Now we're going to enter the mothership. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. And yeah, there it is. <laughs> Once you're in the mothership, as you can see, you already have the low gravity. Which is pretty cool. So this is it. This is all you have to do. Also, if you just want to continue, you can simply collect the golden stars that will uh, fall around the, the map. And when you collect five of them, you will be able to uh, choose whatever legendary loot that you want. So as you can see, there's a golden star right there. It's going to be fallen from the top. And if you want, if you need more time, you will find some purple stars right here. If you take them, you will gain five seconds. And these are the, collect are the golden stars. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. Hey, guys. So, for this uh, week 5 epic quest, it says that you have to uh, destroy computer equipment at satellite stations or colony complex. So, you can either go to these satellite stations right here, and they are everywhere, or you can just go to colony complex to this house. I'm gonna show you a secret spot where you can find all the computer equipment that, that you want. So, there's only one big house in, uh, in colony complex, and it's this house here, right here. So, let's go do it. Okay, so all you have to do is just destroy the roof. And you're gonna find a real treasure. Ta-da! <laughs> so as you can see, it's full of computer equipment and some IO guards. So you're gonna have to be careful of that. Okay, that's taken care of. So yeah, these are the computer equipment. You can just destroy them. Destroy as many as you have to until you complete the quest. And if this does not work, of course, you can just go to satellite stations, just like I said before. But this should work because these are uh, the, computer uh, the computer equipment and colony complex. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. So week five epic quest. It says that you have to damage IO guards. And you can actually find IO guards right over here at colony complex. So just go right here at the center. And you can find a bunch of IO guards that you can, that you can damage. All right, let's go. There should be one here. Yep, there it is, upstairs. Let's go say hello. And hop. Come here, come here, buddy. And yeah, <laughs> that's it, that's, ooh, there's a vault. That's right, I haven't seen one of those in a while. All right, so yeah, just uh, go around this PUI and you'll find a bunch more. Uh, I can already hear a couple more right here. 
And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's keep damaging them until you complete the quest. This uh, week five epic quest is that you have to open an IO chest in uh, at satellite stations or corny complex. So you can either go to satellite stations such as these ones right here, for example, or you can just go to corny complex, and you will find a bunch of IO chests, especially underneath. So just go through here to this basement. Let's kill this guy. There should be, yeah, there it is. So you simply just open these chests right here and you can find some very cool loot. Let me change my AR. And there should be a couple more all around. So let's check here. Mm. Ah, this one has a normal chest. Let's go downstairs. That's Sloan. Yeah, I'm not that close. Yeah, there it is. That's the next chest right there. So yeah, as I said, just come here and you will find a bunch of these chests and you can just open them. That should complete the quest. So this is a week 5 epic quest. It says that you have to damage a saucer with a pilot inside of it. So just aim for this saucer right here. And simply deal 800 damage. Until it falls down. And yeah, just keep doing that. And that uh, that is like the basis of the quest. You will find these saucers uh, in like certain POIs. So just float around. And you will see them like floating around a certain certain POI. Oh, like this one right here. <laughs> And yeah, just keep dealing damage to the pilots inside of it, to the saucer uh, itself, and that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 5 epic quest, it says that you have to eliminate trespassers. And trespassers are the aliens that uh, drive around these alien ships. So first you need to knock down the alien ship. Until it falls down. And a tres trespasser will pop out of the alien ship. There it is. There's one more there. No, 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 come on. Don't attack me. Let me go, let me go. Let's kill the other guy. Hop. And hop. And hop. And there it is. That's it. That's two trespassers in one go. Just come to one of these POIs that have these like floating uh, saucers. And all you have to do is just kill the trespassers, which are the pilots of the saucers. And uh, to bring them down, all you have to do is just shoot them with an AR. So it doesn't take much to bring down a saucer. There it is. That's all you have to do. And the trespasser will come out of the saucer. And then you can just simply kill them. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 5 epic quest, it says that you have to deal damage with IO or alien weapons. So, for example, I have my Chimera uh, weapon right here. And there's a trespasser over there. So we're going to go kill him. But first, let's uh, let's shield up, okay? Just in case. I don't want to die in an embarrassing way. <laughs> so just let me, let me shield up a little bit. I'm going to show you how to do it. And hop, okay, there we go, we're ready, we are ready, as ready can be, come back. Damn, okay, so reload, and hop, and yeah, that's it, <laughs> it's pretty simple, just find one of these, like, uh, uh, like weapons, and uh, you can, like, craft these, uh, um, it doesn't show here, but you can actually craft alien weapons using the new nanites if you want to know how You can just check it on my channel. Just uh, write how to craft alien weapons noob noob fruit And you'll find it on my channel It explains everything and on how to use alien nanites to transform a normal weapon like an AR or an SMG Into an alien weapon like a ray gun or a pulse rifle uh, or even a rail gun so yeah, that's it. Uh, that's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. This uh, week five epic quest it says that you have to loot uh, supply drops. So this is where a supply drop uh, drops. So I highly recommend doing this in uh, Team Rumble mode because a lot of supply drops drop here. So there should be a supply drop coming down. Come on, come on, baby, come on, drop. Let me loot you. And up oh, there it is. And you simply loot that. And you get a, an epic AR. <laughs> Just like that. And yeah, I highly recommend doing this in Team Rumble because as you can see, there's a bunch of spray drops everywhere. And you can simply uh, go through the spray drops and loot them in one game. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 6 epic quest, it's very simple. It's, it says that you have to, complete, uh, to collect 500 gold bars. And that's pretty easy. So all you have to do, I highly recommend going to Catty Corner right here. 
uh, because there's a bounty board right here right underneath me so just stand here instantly and uh, activate the bounty board to get a bounty so you can only use this once uh, per game just eliminate the player and as you can see you will gain 150 uh, gold just by activating that so even if somebody else kills your target even if it's not you you will still get the gold and then to, uh, to gather some more gold all you have to do is just open the chest and destroy some sofas and chairs because gold can be found everywhere as you can see so there's a bunch of chests in this in this POY that you can open and you will get your gold also you can do uh, quest related uh, NPCs so you can just go right here and there's a payphone and an NPC so there's a payphone right here this is why I highly recommend this spot so you can go to the payphone and get a quest from here so you can choose any of these fishing fishing holes very easy that's 80 gold uh, console forage items 80 gold uh, upgrade a weapon at, a, at an upgrade bench which is the best one you need to do and then there's the shotgun elimination so take this one right here i'll tell you why in a second and then you go right here to the special forces npc who should be uh right around here yep there it is so that's uh, you can see it on the map and then I'm going to show you where you can do the upgrade a weapon uh, uh, at an upgrade bench. So this is the Special Forces NPC. And you can get these two quests, the Assault Rifle Elimination and the Assault Rifle Damage. You can choose one of those. So you can get this, for example. And then you go back right where you came from. And you will find an upgrade bench that you can use. So let's go right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go up a little bit. So this is where you can find the upgrade bench, right over here. And oh, you just upgrade one of your weapons. There we go. And yeah, just like that. Oh, we already have somebody here. Sorry, buddy. I'm just, I'm just making a video. Come on, don't kill me. I wasn't even ready. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you do it. I highly recommend doing it this way. Uh, you can then chase around the, the one with the bounty. And that's at least, at the very least, 300 gold bars or 400 gold bars in one game. And yeah, that's it, that's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. This is a week 6 epic quest. It says that you have to uh, spend 500 gold bars. And the best way to spend all of your gold is simply to go to Catty Corner right here. Because there's an upgrade bench right over here. So just grab any weapon. Since you have the, the gold on you. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so then you go right here. And you upgrade that weapon to uncommon and then to rare and that's exactly 500 gold and yeah that's it that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest for this uh, week six epic quest it says that you have to destroy equipments on top of abductors so these are the abductors right here it's these giant alien ships that abduct you to the mothership right there so you simply go on top of one of these so you will find them all around the map as you can see you can see them when you drop and you can see them on the map and you simply destroy these equipments right over here so let's fall off right here I don't trust that guy so these are the equipment as you can see you simply destroy these so that's one that's two and that's three and yeah that's it that's all you have to do and that should could be the quest this uh, week six epic quest is this that you have to open chests or loot inside of low gravity areas so uh, you have to either open uh, normal chests or ammo boxes and low gravity areas are uh, the, the biomes in Holy Hatchery. So just go to Holy Hatchery right here. And you'll find these biomes right here. So for now we have two of them. And you simply go inside. So let's fall down. And you go looking for chests and ammo boxes. So you'll find many of those around. So here's a chest right here. You can also go uh, to, the, to the house. <laughs> right over there, I think. Yeah, there it is. And up, and up, and up. Okay, let's destroy this. There it is. So you'll find everything you need in these two biomes. As you can see, it is low gravity. And it's not very easy to move in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. This is all you have to do. Just come here, follow, uh, like, look for the chests and ammo boxes. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week six epic quest, it says that you have to deploy alien nanites anywhere other than holy hatchery. So this is holy hatchery right here. So you have to be anywhere else, uh, anywhere like uh, outside this this uh, PUI, and you simply grab one of these nanites right here, and you deploy them. So this is what a nanite looks like. There it is. It's a common item. So you take that and you simply deploy it, 
and you create a zero gravity uh a zero gravity like uh uh area which you can build on of course like middle air <laughs> which uh, it's really which is really cool uh also uh these alien nanites are really hard to find they are common items that's true but they are really really hard to find you can find them literally anywhere so i'm gonna show you where i usually like find my alien nanites so uh let me let me get off this it's interfering with my map so let me go up okay so this is where i find most of my alien nanites i either go to hydro 16 right here i mostly find some of these here uh weeping woods and uh right here at pleasant park i found a lot of those like all around the ground and yeah, uh, most of my alien nanites, I found them on the ground, like not from chests. So if I open chests, I rarely ever get a alien nanite. So as you can see, there's nothing there and nothing there. Uh, so yeah, you just have to go around the map until you find them. And when you find them, uh, when you find one, just instantly deploy it if you are outside of Holy Hatchery. And that should be the quest. For this uh, week 6 epic quest, is that you have to destroy alien trees. And as you can see, alien trees are the new trees in Holy Hatchery. So just come here to this PUI right over here. And you will find these alien trees inside the biomes, the low gravity biomes right here. So as you can see, there's a bunch of them there and a bunch here. And all you have to do is just destroy these. So let's destroy them. That's one. They're just like normal trees. <laughs> so let's destroy this one. And we'll destroy one more. And oh. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. This uh, week 6 epic quest is that you have to plant saplings at uh, Stumpy Ridge, Fork Knife, fork knife uh, uh, Food Truck, or FN Radio. So you only need uh, to plant three of these, and each PUI has three. So right here we have the Fork Knife Food Truck, as you can see. So I'm going to show you on the map where that is. It's exactly where my camera is right now. So right above Lazy Lake, you will find this Fork Knife uh, Food Truck right here. And as you can see, right behind it, uh, you can actually see the saplings. So these are the saplings right here. They're little saplings that you can plant, you can interact with. So there's this one right here. And then there's this one right here. The second location is going to be Stumpy Ridge, right over here. So this is where the location is, right next to the road, uh, right behind Weeping Woods right here. So as you can see, we have Weeping Woods, Slurpy Swamp, and the road that goes between them. And then at the edge right here at the turn, you will find Stumpy Ridge. And uh, in this uh, spot, you will also find three more saplings. So there will be two right here, right next to these like stumps right here. So that's sampling number one, sapling number two. And then you simply go up this hill right here and you will find sapling number three right between these trees. As you can see, the third and final location, it's uh, FN radio. So this is the location right over here. As you can see, right next to uh, craggy cliffs, you'll find the FN radio and just go right next to it, right outside of it. So let me reduce the speed of the camera. And you will find the three saplings right on top of this hill, right next to each other, as you can see. So that's sapling, no sapling number one, sapling number two, and sapling number three. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, basically, you have to come to one of these POIs and interact with, th with three of these saplings, and that should complete the quest. For this week 7 epic quest is that you have to use the recon scanner to uh, scout an enemy player or to spot an enemy player. So this is the recon scanner right here, and you can find it in uh, these radar dish uh, like uh, POIs. So this is the spot that I'm, in right, that I'm in right now. There's a bunch of these spots all around the map. You can go to any of these. So just go to, uh, to this if you want. Or you can go to the any of the others in the middle of the map. There's this one right here, there's this one right here. Uh, and simply open the uh, the IO chest, the IO guard chest right here. And you can find the uh, uh, recon scanner, as you can see. And then you simply spot an enemy. So let's uh, pretend this guy is an enemy. And you use this. And as you can see, you mark them. And you can know where they are. And you can use this twice. And then, of course, you can eliminate them. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week 7 epic quest, it says that you have to visit uh, Catty Corner, Camp Cod, and Lazy, uh, not Lazy Lake, Misty Meadows in the same match. So these are the three POIs. This is Catty Corner, this is Camp Cod, and this is Misty Meadows. So I highly recommend doing this in a saucer. So you can grab these practically anywhere. So wherever you find a saucer, just bring it here and keep flying. So this is POI number one. So just by flying over it, that should count as visiting it. And then we make our way to Camp Cod, right over there. All we need to do is just fly over it. Of course, you can still do this uh, by foot, uh, because the POIs are not really that far from each other. So you can practically walk this like uh, between the three POIs. So this is Camp Cod right here. So let's go over it, just to be sure. And up. 
that's that the uh, saucer also there's a secret saucer in camp code right there if you can see it so let me try to ping it it should be right between these trees yeah there it is so you can just go there grab that saucer and start from camp code which is a better solution and then you can go to uh, misty meadows right over here so let's make our way to the py pretty easy nothing too hard about this uh, about this quest of course you don't you have to be careful not to get shot down because people tend to shoot down any like mysterious saucers in the sky and here we are so yeah that's it that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest for this uh, week seven epic quest it says that you have to search ammo boxes so this is a pretty easy quest all you have to do is just go to one of these main POYs. so i highly recommend believer beach because this building right here underneath me has a bunch of ammo chests uh it's a lot of them like really a lot <laughs> so all you have to do is just uh follow the stairs and you will start finding them all around all right so there's the first ammo chest right here that's one let's see if there's any or yeah, that's, that's number two right there let's keep going down that's a rare chest and yeah no, oh, that's number three <laughs> right there so yeah, that's pretty easy. Uh, all you have to do is just keep looking around and find as many ammo chests as you can. So you have the entire PUI at your hand. Just keep looking around until you complete the entire quest. For this uh, week 7 epic quest, it says that you have to defeat Riot. So Riot is an NPC that you can find all the way over here, right next to the yellow bridge. So this PUI right here, right between Misty Meadows and Catty Corner. And he will instantly attack you. So let's get close and then we eliminate him. So all you have to do is just defeat him. There it is, and that's it. <laughs> Pretty easy. And then he will respawn as an NPC that you can interact with. You can get this quest, this quest, or you can buy the Storm Scout exotic sniper from him. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do, and that should copy the quest. For this uh, week seven epic quest, it says that you have to reach top speed in a Whiplash. So Whiplash is this car right here. It's one of the fastest cars. And if you want a 100% spawn rate for this car, you can go right here at Lazy Lake. You can go right here at this bridge. Or you can go at the fancy view house right here. There should be a whiplash right here. And then you simply drive it. So let's jump into it. Come on. And we reach, simply reach top speed by boosting. So let's go into a main road. Ah. Let's go right here. And there it is. Okay, so. Come on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And oh. So this should be the top speed of Whiplash, which is 99 or 100. Yep, there it is, 100, over 100, damn. That is really, really fast. And that's it, we used our entire fuel, ga uh, fuel gauge. <laughs> so yeah, that's all you have to do, just find one of these Whiplashes and simply go to the open road and uh, like uh, like boost as much as you can until you reach, until you reach like over 100 uh, like miles per, per hour, I guess. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 7 epic quest, it says that you have to drive a whiplash through the storm. So first we need to get our whiplash. So go to Lazy Lake. Or you can go to this bridge right here. Or you can go right over here to Fancy View. Uh, there should be whiplashes all over those places. So you need to be kind of lucky to find these. Because sometimes they don't spawn. As, I, as I'm saying that, it does not spawn here. So let's go to the, um, to the freaking gas station. Nope, no whiplash here. Let's go to the bridge then. Okay, here we are at the bridge. Like I said, you need to be kind of flexible with this. So as I said, uh, you can you can find the whiplash either at Lazy Lake or you can find it at the bridge right here. So let me pink this spot. Uh, where am I? Where am I? This is the spot right here. So we went here, we didn't find it, and we went straight here using the boat. So this is the whiplash. So once we have it, all we have to do is just uh, go to the store. So the storm should be coming from uh, right here. So we should be going right over here to drive through it. Okay, here we are. We're at the edge of the map and we're simply going to wait for the storm. So thanks to the editing powers, <laughs> we're going to skip right to there. All right, here comes the storm. It's almost here. Let's get ready. Jump into our driver's seat. And we simply have to drive the whiplash through the storm. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, it's here, it's here. Let's a uh, little like uh, go ahead of us a little bit. And then you simply drive through it in our retro flash. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. You can just keep doing it over and over again. 
And if you don't want to wait, you can you can like easily uh, drive over water if you have these like tires, these like uh, uh, upgrade tires on uh, in your whiplash. And up. Nice. That will make for a great thumbnail. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do, and that should complete the quest. For this uh, week seven epic quest, it says that you have to complete Whiplash time trials, and the Whiplash time trials are gonna be all the way at Lazy Lake. So just make your way to this spot exactly, right over here, right next to the these rocks right here, and right over here, right on my cursor, there should be a a big a big like blue arrow that you can interact with to start the time trials. So this is the exact location, right over here right to the uh, like uh, east of uh, Lazy Lake, right over here. So you will find an arrow right here, just interact with it and you can simply start the path and you can do the time trials, the whiplash time trials. You can use it with any car, not uh, like necessarily a whiplash. And yeah, that's it. Just uh, keep following the path until you complete the quest. So this uh, week eight uh, epic quest is that you have to uh, consume four shield portions in the same match. So I highly recommend coming to any like uh, uh, satellite station, as you can see right here. Uh, because of the IO guards, that will help you uh, like get some damage. So you can drink three pretty easily. Mm, I don't see any IO guards, so we're gonna use this uh, this little piggy right here. So first, you consume these right here. So we consume two minis, and then we consume our big pot. And then to consume like the fourth one, we're gonna need to take some damage. So let's take some damage. And up. Then we can consume our fourth pot right here. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, you can also like find the pots in like the IO guard like uh, chest. They have a lot of like shield pots. So I highly recommend coming to one of these PUIs. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this week eight epic quest, it says that you have to uh, collect building resources. You need 750 mats. So believe it or not, the best spot for this uh, like uh, quest is this right here, the Durburger uh, restaurant. So make your way right here to the Durburger thingy between Holly Hatchery and Strip Swamp, and you will find a lot of like wood right over here, right next to this van. So as you can see, all you have to do is just farm this wood right here. So let's farm a little bit of it and show you. And hope. And yeah, that's the basic gist of it. Just farm all of this and farm all of that. And that should give you 750 mats really, really quick. Plus, nobody really like lands here. So it's very empty spot. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. For this uh, week 8 epic quest, it says that you have to uh, visit Coral Cove, Base Camp, and uh, Unremarkable Shack. So these are three locations on the map. Three little like PUIs. So the first one is going to be the Base Camp Cove. And it's going to be right here, right behind Catchy Corner. So just make your way over there. And all you have to do is just land there and, you know, that should count as visiting. Also, you can do this in uh, like uh, a squad. So this could be done in a team assist. So every one of your friends, like invite two of your friends and each of you go to one location and it will like automatically count as visiting all three locations. So this is the first location right here. We'll go to the second one. Coral Cove is going to be all the way over here, right next to Coral Castle. So this is the location right over here. So all of this should be counted as Coral Cove. So simply land here and just walk around. So this should be Coral Cove, this should be Coral Cove, and this right here should be Coral Cove. And you simply land here and that should count at the second location. And the third location is going to be all the way over here. So this is Unremarkable Shack right here. So it's going to be this island between Stealthy Stronghold and Craggy Glyphs. So let me uh, zoom out of the map. So there it is right here. So simply go to that island and you will find a little shack right there and that should be the unremarkable shack so it should be like this one right here or this one right here so just to be safe just uh land in the middle and hop there it is that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest for this week eight epic quest it says that you have to build 25 structures so that's pretty easy just farm some mats wherever you can you can find them and simply triple build as much as you can so that's seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, and then 25. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. And that should complete the quest. Very easy. For this week 8 epic quest, it says that you have to complete bounties from bounty boards. So the idea is for you to go to a bounty board location and grab a bounty and uh, chase that bounty and kill them. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you like the best location for me personally is this house right here. 
because it's basically at the center of the map and a lot of people like land at weeping woods holy hatchery and believer beach so simply go right there and you will find a little house right here there it is and there should be a secret like bunker right under oh there's a there's a rare chest you don't find these like you don't find many of these so let's grab this right here nice very good very good so go inside the house right here and you'll find a secret closet uh there it is that you can interact with so do that and go inside destroy this and you'll find the bounty board right here so let me take a screenshot of this because we're gonna need it as a thumbnail you simply start it right here and you should know by now like how to bo how bounty board boards work but i'm gonna explain it uh just as well so right here we see this green circle right here that's the entire zone that uh your enemy like bounty is could be right here here or here or here so simply go to this zone and find him and kill him and yeah that's it that's all you have to do just do this three times and it should be like complete the, it should complete the quest as you can see like the circle is moving so your enemy is moving right over here uh and yeah after you do this you need to do this twice more so you can just start another game and come here again or you can go to any other bounty board on the map there's another one right here at believer beach right here uh there should be another one right here at catty corner if you want to know like all the locations just go to my channel and write all bounty board locations and there will be a guide on all the locations right here and yeah that's it that's all you have to do just chase your bounty three times and make sure you complete the bounty and that should complete the quest also uh if somebody poaches the bounty it doesn't say if it works or not but if somebody poaches your bounty it it might work <laughs> okay so just go for the bounty but if somebody poaches it maybe like if somebody else kills it maybe it will count uh if it doesn't you're gonna have to chase it and kill it yourself and yeah that's it that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest for this uh, week eight epic quest it says that you have to ignite players or enemy player structures with uh, with fire so you're gonna need a fire jar right here and you can only find these next to trees at night time so it has to be night time in the game right there as you can see it's all starry and you'll find these next to these like uh, trees as you can see you simply collect them so let's collect as much as we can and now we simply make our way to uh, a uh, like a location where there's a player so let's go to weeping woods all right here we go i got some players right here they look like uh, they look like uh, bots but that doesn't matter so there it is as you can see you simply burn them and the fire should spread out and burn them all <laughs> and yeah that's it that's all you have to do you need to do this uh 15 times and that should complete the quest for this week eight epic quest it says that you have to emote in front of a camera at believer beach or lazy lake so we're gonna go to believer beach you only need to uh, interact with one of these so just go to this camera right here and we're gonna dance in front of it so let's see if it is there it should be there come on come on come on yep there it is right there so simply make your way to that camera and dance in front of it so let's go there it is that's a camera and there is simply a mode so there's these two like uh like cut out cardboard cutouts and we simply dance <laughs> in front of it that's my graffiti dance right there bam, 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 bam. or you can try the top camera right here so there should be another camera right over here simply go up top Ah, uh, they removed it. Okay, so yeah, that's this is the camera for uh, this is the only camera for Believer Beach right there. So let's protect ourselves right here. And the other one at Lazy Lake, just in case this one does not work, which is highly unlikely. Uh, the other one is gonna be, come on. The other one is gonna be at Lazy Lake. So you see this house right here, right next to the pool. You'll find the other one right here, right next to the pool. You can emote in front of that. Uh, but I highly recommend just coming to here, right here to Believer Beach. Nobody really comes to this beach right there and simply emote again in front of it and yeah that's it that's all you have to do and that should complete the quest